Uh, how's it going today? It's 27th of April, uh, Saturday, and we are taking a look at the market, what kind of opportunities we can find. It is something I have written on the board, so I thought might as well let's take a look at uh, this market, what uh, would be a t-shirt market. Uh, I always thought about it. <laughs> I don't know, it might be a fun experience, I guess, taking part in that. I don't think the order is gonna be big enough, all these kind of things, margins perhaps gonna be very slim, all these kind of things, right? But either way, let's, uh, it's just I have read so many different documents and uh, it's, uh, all these documents that we have, these documents have been written, the company itself, uh, that the advertising that they're looking for, people who are interested, the company is not having enough capacity, people are, I already know. so. Since I'm already wasting time working with some of the companies, so I thought might as well let's take a look at some of the businesses by actually more of the interest <laughs> and the interesting experience, I guess. Let's take a look at uh, on demand print uh, on the t shirts business. Quickly, we can take a look at the countries. Uh, it's just that uh, perhaps for others, they might find this information interesting. Thing and I can bring my own overshoot of uh, some of the things that I know. I uh, well, uh, would be interested in finding out what countries are top manufacturing companies of clothing. Uh, it says that, that would be determining factor when we we'll take a look at supply chain, which should be important for all the people involved as well as uh, perhaps reviewing uh, your suppliers. Um, to see at least uh, health and safety measures if they have uh, fire exits, uh, uh, fire extinguishers, all these great things, and uh, if they're looking after the people, right? So some of the uh, governments of that uh, could be China, uh, Bangladesh, Vietnam, India. Okay. Uh, Indonesia, <laughs> Turkey, uh, Pakistan, uh, Cambodia, Mexico, okay. And from there, potentially another company. <laughs> I think that uh, would be entire supply chain, right? So that's where everything would begin. From there, uh, would go to the company who would do printing, or either could be a thing done in house with us, is just an example. A million problems, right? <laughs> I always take a look at this market previously. Uh, we take a look at a lot of orders. Some of these orders was up to it could reach five hundred t-shirts, I believe. There were there's a lot of documents that had the chance to review, but I don't know if it would be a retail. So that would be perhaps two orders and fulfilling one order. We can take a look at this type of business, and uh, well, I don't think the margins are there. But either way, either way, <laughs> let's take a look at what this. Uh, business is all about first. What is on demand t shirt printing business? On demand t shirt printing business is a model that uh, customers can order custom design t shirts in small quantities, typically, even just one shirt at a time. Okay, so far, so good. Makes a lot of sense. And have them printed quickly. <laughs> oh, shit, uh, within window of it could be 12 hours, 24 hours, uh, 48 hours, right? This business model is facilitated by digital printing technology such as direct government. Okay, okay, we even got the name for it. So that's potentially a company. If I were to find this kind of company, that would be great. I think, I don't know, I think it's kind of a price, but it depends. So, uh, I would take a look at within the UK, some of those companies have, uh, or they did recently invest a lot in equipment and or how uh, they would be able to do it. I don't know if it's reasonable prices or if it would be better to source some uh, companies from outside the UK in this instance, but either way. Printing, which allows for high quality, full color designs to be printed directly onto the fabric of the shirt. Okay, okay, so uh, it depends. Uh, I was uh, thinking about composition of the shirt and perhaps that would be 95, perhaps 90% of cotton or similar materials and 10% of different materials, right? So I was thinking about this kind of uh, shirt uh, that myself I'd be interested in. Uh, 
uh, there's how the process typically works. Online design tool. Customers often use online design tool provided by on-demand uh, printing company to create their custom designs. They can upload their own artwork or, or use pre-made template and graphics to design the shirt. Okay, uh, perhaps uh, that could be one of the ways how I uh, do it at scale. Uh, order placement. Once the design is finalized, customers place the uh, order throughout the company's website. They can uh, specify the size, color, quantity, and shirts they want to be ordered. And it, it, uh, I'm, I'm thinking about fitness, right? So perhaps I would have very interesting niche of people who I would like to do business with. But anyway, and progressing to step three, printing. Upon receiving an order, the primary company uses the DG printer is, uh, to print a custom design onto a blank t-shirt. The DG printing allows the faster and lower times and the ability to print complex high resolution designs. Uh, quality control. <laughs> okay, okay. So I have reached out to some of these companies and uh, that would be major concerns uh, based on my personal experience how they would like to do is quality control checks and how often those were to be done uh, with the screen with everything as well as I think it would be about 2% I think 2% out of 100 uh, that means 2% uh, out of 100 shirts printed 2% potentially be <laughs> rejected based on qua uh, quality control measures pre-agreed right so it's a lot of areas, right? But either way, after printing the shirt, I uh, inspected it uh, for quality to ensure the prints are accurate and the shirts meet the company standards. Uh, packaging and shipping, so that's the last part. Uh, we can take a look at this market, perhaps. I might have uh, a lot of people might have a lot of opportunities, right? The benefits uh, of on demand t shirt printing customs include ability to create unique personalized t shirts without having to order it in bulk as well as fast turnaround times and uh, conveniences for businesses. This model estimates uh, the needs for large and it's uh, just because all uh, uh, there's a lot of systems, right? But the system that they would like uh, the, the consider on demand. So a uh, person order potentially made this uh, payment uh, and you can ship uh, directly to the person, but has to be more of a retail, I guess. Overall, on-demand t-shirt printing has become a popular choice for individuals, businesses, and organizations looking to create custom appeal. Mm, maybe, maybe. Uh, I don't know if I should be promoting other businesses, but there are a lot of businesses uh, who offer this and all similar services, right? And uh, the supply chain is something I was reading about uh, in press releases this morning. There's a lot of issues perhaps with supply chain and all where the shirts were to be manufactured, all these kind of <laughs> things. <laughs> I don't know if it's worth mentioning some of the countries who are massive producers uh, and uh, perhaps uh, sourcing a lot of shirts from there, and then how you can potentially control all the supply chain, right? and or sourcing some of the partners, uh, in this case, perhaps uh, within Europe or UK, and where the, from where you can ship and or fulfill a lot of orders from. Uh, th that was just an example. I was reading about it. I have uh, had this on my whiteboard for some time now, so I thought might as well cover this area before progressing to the next one. I'll try to chat, I don't know, perhaps uh, how many business I will, might be able to find within the game. Fifty, perhaps well, a little bit more. Uh, let's try to reach out to fifty businesses, who offer services, and see what kind of offers we might be able to find. And if we were to find a partner, uh, previously I find a really good partner, but uh, this partner was uh, looking for massive orders, right? I think the price was okay. Uh, <laughs> that's not how I think all the contact information. The uh, price was okay. A uh, person was okay. And it's something that uh, the person that was really passionate about what he was doing. So that would be something that always uh, at my forefront and determining if that's the right person uh, doing the right job and uh, <laughs> is in the right place, right? <laughs> but I don't know, the, it's just the orders, so perhaps the smaller quantities uh, is something that I would be looking for. And from there, progressing into bigger quantities, right? Well, either way, uh, I thought might as well share that with others if they're looking for it yet. 
uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.